I start off with a pattern that I know how it behaves and trace it, leaving enough room for changes. When it comes to changing patterns, I tend to just guess and just go what feels best right. Here I add about 5 cm to the top of the waistband as a start. Cutting out the first rough pattern. Making some small adjustments after holding it up to the mannequin. Then it's time to make the first mock-up. After holding it up to the mannequin again, I make a few more adjustments. Time to make the second mock-up, this time in a sturdier fabric. Making even more adjustments. Once I'm satisfied with the new pattern, I trace it out on a fresh piece of paper. I also smooth over the curves and mark the pattern pieces before I cut them out.
Now I can start working on the real thing. Starting off with tracing out the waistband. I'll need 8 pieces in total. Then cut them out with fabric scissors. Pinning the side seams together. I also cut out a layer of sturdy linen to strengthen the waistband. I start off with seaming the side seams together. Then sew the layers together having the right sides facing each other. Pinking the corners so it's easier to turn inside out. Once I've turned it inside out and pressed it, I top stitch the sides and top of the waistband.
Then it's time to sew the channels for the pony. After cutting the giant zip ties to size, I sanded down the edges. Then it's time to start on the skirt part. I used the skirt pattern of the Lady Street costume from the Diamond Garment Cutter, originally published in 1895. I also added some large pockets. First, I sew the darts. Then I roll hem the panels together. I added some bias tape to the outside of the pockets to strengthen the seam. I also tacked down the seam allowance of the darts by hand. For the pleated part in the back, I started with spacing out guidelines one inch apart.
Then I box pleat so I have two pleats at each side. I tack down the pleats after I press them so they stay put. Pinning the skirt to the waistband, having the right sides facing each other. Seaming them together After that I fold under the inside and sew it down by hand. I also sewn down some strengthening tape to the bottom hem. I originally planned to add black lace to the bottom hem, but I did not have enough in my stash for that. For the lacing, I start with using an awn to separate the threads. Then I whip stitch around the hole to keep the hole open and the layers together.
After that, I finished off the eyelids using split embroidery thread. I decided that I wanted to do a small Scandinavian inspired embroidery on the waistband. I also decided to do it in black instead of the traditional colourful palette. Molly Ryan declares that aeroplane riding he dares. Her sweetheart began to think of a plan where they could be wed overhead. So he said, I will get an airship right away. A neat one to hold about two. Then smiling with joy, he said to her boy, you're the captain and I am the crew. Take me up, up. Up with you, theory of way, up to the sky. Sail around the moon for a quiet spoon, just the past and you and I. Let us float, float, float through the clouds, just have a lot of fun. We'll go up, up, up as two, and then come down as one. Take me up along with you, me darling, do, and let us go away into a latitude about as near as anybody that has ever reached the sky. We can sail around the lunar planet, making love and hugging every time it can. It's nobody in the aeroplane except the past you and I. We could float a little flying boat a little while we wrote a little scented note, a little subsequent to passing through the clouds and having lots of fun. We'll go up into the sweetest sky of blue and on ascending. We will see we're up and on returning to all.